Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So guys, before we begin, I'm giving away my Photoshop courses on Skillshare for free for you guys to watch. I'll put a link to that in the description below so that you can go and you know sign up and then watch these courses for free so guys in this tutorial i want to show you how you can upload your photoshop flyer designs on etsy and make some side hustle so you get on etsy.com and then you go to sign in now if you're new and you don't have an account you have to go to register account put in your email address your name and the password and when you click on register it will open a new account for you. So once you register, this window opens up for you. Now to set up a listing, you need to go under your account and then you wanna go ahead and click on sell on Etsy. First step when it comes to creating the listing is that it will ask you um, your shop preference. So you wanna go ahead and choose the language. In this case, I'm English and also I'm in the US, so I choose that and the currency is a dollar and then which is the best description for you you can choose whichever is applicable then you click on save to continue the next uh, page you will have to come up with your own name now once you come up with the name um, you want to make sure that nobody has that name so once you put it in you need to click on check availability and Etsy will just check it and if there is no one with that it will just say it's available so once it says it's available you can go on and click on save and continue so on the next landing page which is stock your shop this is where you add your listing so we are going to go ahead to click on add listing and you want to go ahead and find the image that you want to use so i'm going to go ahead and drop in this image that I will use for my thumbnail. Now you can add multiple images. You want to go on and you want to add in your title so you can, and you can add more to your listed detail. Now what I do is I go on Etsy and I look up similar listing like mine and I basically copy the heading, the title, and then I basically edit it to fit mine. So you can do that and then you go down it says who made this you want to go ahead and choose i did what is it you want to say it's a finished product when was it made make sure that you choose the current year this is a digital item so you want to click on digital and basically it gives you a drop down and you can go ahead and choose that is a digital art collection it will be printed you can go ahead and choose the color now these are all optional for one color and then blue for the other color since those are the dominant colors in the flyer. Now I'm going to leave these options blank and then I'm going to go ahead and give the dimension of the flyers and I'm going to type in 10 and I'm going to also choose the width. If you want your listing to be renewed after three months by Etsy without you doing it manually. So I normally leave my on automatic now you want to make sure that you choose the type of product since it's not a physical product we want to make sure that we choose the digital product now when it comes to the description you can go ahead just like you did with the listing detail you can look up similar listing that other people have done copy the description and modify it to fit yours you want to go ahead and also add in tags now tags are very important because that helps when people are searching for your item on etsy so i'm going to go ahead and type in like church and then enter now sometimes it's the characters are too long so you want to make sure that you minimize your tag. So you want to make sure you maximize all the 13 slots that have been given to you, as well as the material. You so once you fill up all the, um, the tags that you need, you want to come under the inventory and pricing. And I'm just going to give this uh, um, an $8.99 for the price. And then the quantity, I'm going to put 100 of those. 
so that you know they can print as many as they want now the last thing you want to do is to upload your digital file so you want to go to where you have it now i have two things i have instructions on how to download that's the first one and then i have the digital file that i want them to edit now i just have the psd file but you can also compress it into a zip file that you can upload but you have to make sure that the size of your file is not bigger than 20 megabytes. So once you have everything set, all you need to do is click on preview. So once you click on preview, it shows you how your listing is going to look like. So at this point, you can go on and add in more listing, but I will show you an easier way to just make duplicate so that you don't have to you know, recreate everything again. So let's say that we have all our listing in, go ahead and click save and continue. And then obviously at this point, you want to go ahead and type in blah, blah, blah. You know, you need to put in your address and also you need to put in your bank information. And then once you put in your bank information, then it will give you access to go on to the next, which is set up your billing and then also your shop security. So that is basically how you can set up your Etsy and get it running. To make a duplicate of your listing to use for another listing, all you have to do is click on the listing that you have. Now, instead of going to edit to edit the actual listing, you can create, you can click on uh, copy. Once you click on copy, now Etsy makes a copy of this listing that you already have now this is just a copy so i can co go in and delete these images I'm going to leave the, the instructions and then i'm going to go ahead and add this one in and then once i add it in all you have to do is change the title a little just to fit what you want because this one is um, almost like an easter flyer so you can go ahead and change it to fit that title you make sure you change your digital file with the correct one. Once you have that set, all you have to do is go ahead and hit publish and it will do it for you. Guys, that is how you basically set up your Etsy to get it going. So with that said, I want to go ahead and show you how you can basically create the thumbnail and also reduce the size of your image for your upload. So the first thing that you want to do is to set the size of your thumbnail. So if I go to images, you can see that I'm basically using, I'm using a 12 by 10 and my resolution is 300. Now you want to go ahead and you want to bring in the image or the final product that you want to list. Now, once you bring it in, you want to make a duplicate of this. So command J, you make a duplicate now the bottom image you want to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger like that to fill up the background um, area now you want to make sure that you make it a little bit blur so click on that layer go to filter and then you want to go under blur gaussian blur and you want to set your gaussian blur to about a 21 or maybe a 22 so that you have a distinction between your background not being sharp but your final image on top is sharp. So once you have this all set, you want to also make the image on top pop a little more. So we want to add a background. So if you've noticed, I already had, um, I added an outline and a little bit of a shadow. So to see how I did that, I'm going to double click on my image to bring up the layer style. Now notice that I just added a stroke effect and then I had it at 8 pixel now the drop shadow is the same I increased the size the distance and the spread was a little bit smaller so that you get a nice effect for your thumbnail now once this is set all you have to do is go to save save as and you want to go ahead and locate where you want to save your file um, locate where you want to save it and then just save your file as a JPEG and that is it. The other thing that I want to show you is how you can reduce your template. First of all, before you upload any file, you want to make sure that the file size is not more than 20 megabytes. So you want to right click and then you 
want to go ahead and get that information. Now notice that this flyer size is huge. It is a 321.1 megabytes. That is too big and we need to reduce it. So now that I have it open in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is figure out how I can reduce this image. Now, when anybody buys this template, what they will be changing are the information. So the text, you don't want to touch it. You want to click on the bottom and you want to hold down shift and then match all the background. So right click and then you want to go and say rasterize image. It will match everything in the background, convert to smart object. So notice that it basically matched everything. If I click on that, this is what you have. So there are some items that you can basically match and that will reduce the size. So we are going to right click and then we are going to say that rasterize the layer. We are going to go to image size and we want to change the resolution of this to about 120 and we are going to go ahead to click OK. Now when you zoom in, you see that it still looks good. It still maintained its uh, quality. So we are going to go ahead to hit save and I'm going to go back to the folder and I'm going to right click on it and then we are going to check the size. Now notice that it dropped it to 56. Okay, so we are going to reduce it a little bit more. We want it to be a lot smaller. So let's go back to image and then image mode and we are going to take this down a notch we are going to make this a seven um we are going to make the width a five and then let's see what happens and we can take the resolution to a hundred go ahead and click okay and we are going to zoom in it still looks good so with this set we are going to save it and then we are going to check the size of this so notice that it brought it down all the way to 16. So guys, I hope that this was very helpful and this will really get you excited on making some side hustle using Etsy. And as I said, you know, um, once you upload more files on Etsy, the chances of you being seen is very high. And as you put out good content, people will buy. And if your customer service is good, you notice that your rating will go up and it will draw more traffic to your site so guys let me know in the comments below if this was helpful i will also go ahead and share with you guys seven side hustles that you can do as a graphic designer in the coming weeks enjoy setting up your etsy accounts if you get stuck you can reach out to me and i will help you